Good afternoon everybody and welcome to City Hydro Grow Along day number one for leek. Now we use leek at City Hydro versus onion or spring onion or any kind of different onion flavor. We, we like the leek onion because, or the leek microgreens because of the flavor that it has of onion and garlic combined and our chefs and our clients really seem to prefer it over the onion. So we're going to do the hydro spacers in our leek. So I put the hydro spacers in the tray. Now I'm going to sanitize the tray with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Looking to make sure that it's all nice and clean and pristine. Okay, everything looks great in there. No foaming action, nothing happening. The tray is nice and clean. So we're going to come back over here to the, to the pads. So you can see I have my four pads and my water bath and for leak it's about a hundred milliliters of seeds per four pads. Okay. So I got a hundred milliliters of seeds here and I'm going to put the seeds onto the pads with our little cup here. Sprinkle them around. Now we seed pretty dense. We like a nice Pad. We like it to look like it's a center cut of a piece of cake when our clients pull it out to start cutting the living microgreens off the coconut fiber. So I'm spreading them out here a little bit. Now I'm going to spread these out a little bit. A little more up in the corner here. And I'm going to do this pad down here. Spread them out a little bit. Now there are some other seeds, a little bit of trash seeds in the, now, I don't know if they're trash seeds or when I was dumping the seeds back into the container that were left over, if I, I messed up and put some other different seeds in here. But there's a couple in here, we're not really worried about that. So we got a nice even spread. I'm going to zoom in on the tray a little bit here and give you a good idea of how it looks and how dense the seeds are. I never have any issues with leak, uh, with mold or any other kind of issues. Um, leak is just an amazing microgreen. It has a really long shelf life on it. So we're going to zoom in a little bit here. And you can see actually how dense we seed there. We seed pretty dense. Now there are some, you know, some bald spots here, but don't worry about those. Those are all fill in nicely as the leak starts to mature a little bit. Zoom back out here. Let me adjust the camera. So now I'm going to put them in the water bath. So the water bath is key to, to a good germination. So there's about a quarter inch of water in the tray of water. Put my pads in here and you can see there's seeds left down in the bottom down here because I did get a little extra seeds out of another container as I was seeding there because I don't know five milliliters or something like that fell through the grate here as you can see there's quite a bit of seeds left in the grate here I'm going to give get those back and seed them on the next four pads and now so there's I need to add a little bit of water to the bottom of the um, tray here so I'm going to slowly pour in the water. You don't want to pour it in too fast because you don't want a tsunami happening. You pour in the water. Oops. A little bit of an issue there. A little bit too fast there. Don't worry about it. I'm going to push those around. Slide this back a little bit. So I got some extra seeds in my tray there. I'm going to take these and dump these in and you can see we're getting that crystallization that we'd like to see where the water started to come up through the pads and in fact I need to add a little bit more water to it a little bit more water as you can see we're getting that crystallization everything's looking really nice in the in the tray there okay so now I'm gonna put this one here Put four more pads. I'm 
Now, I want to talk a little bit about these pads, and I want to show you something that you don't want. Um, so we, we prepare our pads, and there's a nice video on our YouTube channel about it. And you can see the difference in the color here. You can see this is much darker, and this is much lighter. That's because this pad isn't soaked properly. Now, what will happen is where it's drier here, the seeds won't germinate as well. So you want to make sure that the pad is full like this, all the same color, all this dark brown color like you have down here. Not any of this light color because this means it's too dry. You have to prepare the pads in order for the microgreens to grow properly. Okay, so now I'm going to put my seeds on the next pads. Spread them around. Yeah, leek goes great. Leek on hamburgers or on pasta or anything is just an amazing dish addition. Um, I have a couple chefs that just like to have a couple trays a week of just leek that they use um, on their dishes. One of them makes a mushroom ragu. Uh, chef up there is a forage. He makes a mushroom ragu and on this mushroom ragu he's putting a big hunk of microgreen leek and when you eat it it's just that garlicky oniony flavor is amazing. Also um, the sea jackets stay on the leek it kind of gives it an oniony, bark, garlicky, bagel, bagel kind of flavor to it. So now I'm going to move these pads from this tray into our green tray. Everything's lined up nicely. Yeah, these new hydro spacers are working out great and these new pads that are pre-cut. You know, I, I, I had issues before when we had students cutting the pads. The pads were cut and sometimes they were too big, sometimes they were too small. They didn't fit right in the tray and I'd be up here trimming them. Um, these new pre-cut pads just work perfectly and actually cuts down on the time of doing the seating making the trays and the new hydro spacers also cut down on the time. Now I like the bamboo I gotta say I, I still do like the bamboo but you know you gotta go along with progression and, and, and improving things and people are liking the um, the hydro spacers. So there we go I'm gonna have to add a little more water to here and again you want to pour that water in slowly not to create any tsunami to wash away your seeds. Don't know how many times I've been in a rush and poured that water in and ruined four pads of, of microgreens. And as you can see there, that crystallization is happening inside the tray there. Those, those seeds are starting to soak up that water. Let me zoom in here a little bit and give you a, a show of what's going on there. So there you can see the water soaking up through the the pad there. Okay, that's what you want going on. Okay, so while those are soaking, I'm going to go ahead and make my label. So this is microgreen leak, and, and again, I'm using that word microgreen or micro. So it's micro leak. Today's date. Where the seeds came from, these seeds came from Mountain Valley Seeds, so it's an MVS. And these seed, this tray is going to a client of ours called Bar Vequez. We went there on Friday night for dinner and boy was it amazing. Uh, Mario down there, the chef down there, just does an amazing job. You know, and, that, and that's one thing too about what we do is, you know, we, we go to all our clients for dinner, lunch, brunch. Um, this afternoon we're going to go to... Uh, lunch that one of our clients you know you, you show them a little love and they show you a little love um, in fact 
on Easter, I went to, we went to Barbequez for brunch. Mario came out to the table and said, hey, Larry, I need to increase my order, you know. That always helps. And, you know, the fact that we went there to have Easter brunch shows that we care about his restaurant, so he cares about us. You know, it's, it's key. It's, it's good business sense. It's good relationships that you build. I mean, we've had all of our clients for about five years, so since we started and and that shows a lot I don't know how many companies I've changed or how many companies have you changed right over the past couple thir years or even a year or even months okay so there's a there's a tray I'm gonna move it over a little bit to give you a better idea of the inside before I spray anything on it slide it over here and there you can see the tray, so I'm going to spray it down with some hydrogen peroxide. Sanitize those seeds, make sure everything's nice and clean. No foaming action, nothing happening with the seeds, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice spraying of water for 30 seconds. That Earl Shrive paint job going on here. Back and forth, back and forth back and forth, up and down. And again, we're going to water twice today on the first day of, of germination. It's on the rack, and then this afternoon when I come back to do my watering, I'm gonna do my watering, I'm gonna give it another watering because I want all those seeds to be nice and moist. It's 10 seconds on the lid. Cover it up nicely there, and up on the germination rack. I'd like to thank everybody for their support. This is day number one of Leak. Have a great day and happy growing.